I fell in love with London. I fell in love with England when I was a, a teenager. I was 15 years old, you know. I was part of a school exchange program. I came over to Britain, you know, a beautiful thing. I stayed with a very middle class family here in England. They were so middle class, they had a cat. Yeah. Also, they were so middle class that their toilet had two flush buttons. A pee button and a poo button. To save water. Isn't that amazing? That's, that's as middle class as it gets. When, when a middle class person in England wants to have a crazy night, they go for a pee and push the poo button instead. <laughs> Anarchy in the UK. That's what I mean. but So I stayed with that family. Like I said, they had a cat. You know, I didn't know at that point. I know it now. I found out the hard way that I have a very severe cat allergy. I'm very allergic to cats, you know. Yeah, hilarious. So I, um, I stayed with that family and I woke up in the middle of the first night. And I couldn't breathe. My eyes were red. My nose was running. It was a nightmare, you know. And they took me to the hospital. And the doctor at the hospital said... Um, Sir, you're very allergic to cats. You cannot go back to that house. The cat is going to kill you. I'm like, what? It's just a middle-class cat. I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to surrender. I'm not French. So, <laughs> oh, some people are uncomfortable. Oh, no, we cannot, we cannot make fun of the French anymore. It's like, je suis Paris and all that bullshit. You know, you probably, I know. You probably have like a French flag on your Facebook profile picture, right? It's like, come on, guys. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous, you know. It's, it's, it, that's the worst thing the Islamic State have tried to do to us so far. They want us to like the French. What? What? Not with me, guys. I'm not having it. I'm not having it. Look, listen. If we stop hating the French now, that means the terrorists have won. Not gonna fall for it, man. <laughs> so I went back, right? I went back to the house. And then I took all the medicine I could get, you know, antihistamines, all that stuff, against the cat, you know? And I woke up, same situation the second night. I woke up in the middle of the night, you know, I couldn't breathe. It was a nightmare. I opened my eyes right in my face. It's the cat. The cat looks at me, I look at the cat, the cat looks back at me, and the cat goes, Tss. <laughs> The cat was allergic to me, too, guys. <laughs> allergic to a German. <laughs> So it was a draw, it was a 1-1. One, one. We took it to penalties and I won because the cat was English. That's what happened there. Ooh. Oh yeah, finally a football jog. <laughs> That's my favorite thing, you know, that football is touchier than terrorism, isn't it? As a topic in comedy. People are like, oh, fuck terrorism, fuck, you know, the French, but no, football, no, that's, you know, that's our thing, you know? It's our thing. But you're right, football is touchy, you know. I'm, I'm a big football fan myself. I know she still doesn't know what we're talking about, but it's fine, you know. <laughs> That's good. So, like, like I said, so I stayed with that family. We had this beautiful moment. A beautiful moment I remember with that family. We're sitting around the breakfast table having a full English breakfast. One of my favorite things in the world, you know. A full, but the best hangover food in the world, the full English breakfast. I love it, you know. I also love the full Irish breakfast, by the way. I also love the full Scottish breakfast, you know. I know. I still don't know what the difference is between the three, you know. I mean, what is the difference? I mean, they're all prepared by a Polish person anyway. <laughs> now, what is the. I don't know. What is the. So what I do now, what I do now is I take a shortcut. I order the full Polish breakfast right away, which is just a vodka and a cigarette. Love it. That's the best, you know. It's the best. So we're sitting around this breakfast table, right, having the full English breakfast. And then Tom, the son of the family, Tom, asked me, Christian, would you like a piece of toast? What a nice thing to be asked, right? And then the mother said, Tom, why don't you ask Christian in German? And then Tom looked at me and said, would you like a piece of toast? <laughs> it's not nice, is it? But that's when I fell in love with your sense of humor over here, you know? That's like, I, I can relate to that, I think. I can relate to that. <laughs>